This episode is brought to you by our non-paid sponsor of Top Boxer, and they sent us a really cool discount for awesome subscribers. So if you go to topboxer.com and look at their boxing gloves, coaching equipment, protective equipment, apparel, and their custom orders used by champions around the globe, you can save 5% off any and all purchases from now until December 25th. So that's awesome holiday shopping from now until December 25th. Combat Corp 5 will save you 5% off. So that's anything and everything you see on their website, 5% off. Use the code Combat Corp 5. Thank you to Top Boxer, and thank you to all the people watching. Enjoy the show. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Combat Corporation, your source for combat sports. I'm your host, Al, the Postmaster tomorrow, and today I have a gear review on the Fight to Finish 16-ounce Velcro all-black training gloves. What's up, everybody? As always, I'm really excited to bring you yet another gear review. And once again, we have the Fight to Finish All Matte Black Velcro 16 ounce training gloves. And these gloves are really cool. Uh, I should go into that first and say these were sent to me by Fight to Finish themselves. I always want to open up by saying that because I don't want you to think that I'm just going to give a good review just because someone paid me something or they sent me free gear because that's not it. I'm not going to bash any company. I'm not going to say anything bad as long as there's nothing bad to say. I'm going to say good things if there's good things and if there's anything I don't like, I'm going to tell you flat out. I don't like this about the glove. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to be that guy that says all the time, oh, well, you know, I swear by this glove, I do this just because they sent me stuff. Stuff. really cool guy awesome equipment and I mean that anything that I think this company makes you know whether it be headgear they sent me some headgear too and uh, they sent me these and just to test them out and he asked that I review them and that's uh, you know one thing about these gloves is I've only had them for two weeks and normally I try and use them for a lot longer but in the two weeks I've used these a lot every single day I haven't used another pair of gloves since he sent me these simply because I really wanted to give the best thorough review that I could as fast as possible. And all I could tell you is I probably could have given the review the day that I got them and used them for a couple hours uh, just because of how well they perform. They break in really well. Everything about the glove is very well made, but we'll get into that in a minute. The other thing that you might notice is we're in a different recording space. Uh, this is my office at my job. I'm, a, I'm an athletic director now, and this is where I do all my recording and stuff now. So if there's anything that you think could be done to the room I still have the gloves there I still have the gloves there and then there's some gloves over at this wall too uh, that uh, that you don't like whether it's the lighting if you have any advice on the lighting on what to do because it's still brand new this is the first video I've done in here or if you have any audio advice um, I think it's pretty dead in here which is honestly pretty nice or if you think there's something I should put in the background or camera angles whatever it might be let me know I'll get it done as fast as possible but now let's get into the review first off these gloves, once again, are pretty cool. Uh, Fight to Finish is a cool company. The guy, when he reached out to me, he said, you know, I want you to give a 100% honest review, and I, I just kind of want to show the world that these gloves are actually really good, and I think my equipment is very good, and I swear by my equipment, and I think a lot of people just kind of go off their name. He doesn't do a whole lot of promotions like some other companies do. They will shove their ads down your throat. Uh, go look at his Instagram page is all I can say because he shows you uh, all the things and, and uh, people that he goes through and it's really cool to watch. It's really cool how he makes these as well. So I want to read this. It's their mission statement. If you go to their website and you go to About Us, it says who we are. In 2012, Fight to Finish set out to establish itself as an authority in the boxing industry through equipment design, integrity in business, and overall involvement in the sport. We have always felt there's a certain magic that happens when you slip your hand into a boxing glove, and that's 100% true. You feel its power, and at the same time, you realize your own. Boxing gives you hope. Boxing gives hope to some, changes lives of others, and creates champions out of those uh, few who are willing to test their limits. Whatever your goals may be, we want them to help. We want to help you achieve them. <clears throat> we want fighters, coaches, fitness enthusiasts to be assured that they can depend on us, whether it's through our equipment, apparel, information we provide. There's one road to the title, and we're on it with you. So that's basically saying that they want to be involved. They want to hear from you. They want anything that you can do. If you bought their equipment and you message them, I want to fight. I just wanted to let you know that I use your gloves like throughout training camp. They're probably going to like share you and say, yeah, that's awesome. We're here with you because you chose our gear 
and we want to be there with you. We want to help you out, whether it's getting in touch with people, contact, maybe we maybe we can help you get a fight somehow. Maybe we can help you uh, with money for your training camp or something. Now, I'm not saying that's exactly what they're going to do. Don't go calling Fight to Finish saying, hey, I heard from this guy that he'll, that he'll give me money for my training camp. That's not what exactly what I'm saying. What I am saying is that they care about you. And that's one thing about companies that I always look for is that if they have good reception with people. Now, obviously, there's big companies like Everlast, Tidal, Ringside. Uh, I won't take Ringside in there, but Everlast, Tidal, you know, Grant, uh, Reyes, all these other things, and they'll have you on a thousand different waiting lines, whereas this guy, if you call their customer service or email them, you'll get a response like that, and that's the one thing about them. The equipment is pretty affordable, and it's of the highest quality standard. Uh, going into the look of the glove, you can see that it's actually very basic. There's not a whole lot to go off of as far as the look goes. You see it's just a plain matte black color and I like that. I like basic. I like I like very basic looking gloves because there's not a whole lot to them. People don't really stop and say, oh, those look like awesome and stuff, you know, or bother you where you get them all the time. Uh, although I did have a lot of people bother me. They said they look, these look cool and they do look cool and they're just black. The only thing that you can really see is that it says fight to finish across here and it has their really cool logo here. So you do have the fight to finish thing. Uh, you have the 16 ounce stamp right here. The Velcro strap has a uh, uh, neat stitching and as well as the thumb loop actually has these felted stitches uh, that's a different color it's more of a silverish color but besides that it's a very basic looking glove and if you take the look and compare it to other gloves such as say let's look at a pair of winnings here you can notice that it is very much a Japanese style of glove and that's one thing um, this company wow the camera just did something weird because I put the white and black next to each other. That's cool. But you do notice that it is very much a Japanese style glove. Uh, and I do like Japanese style gloves. The only thing that I never really cared about Japanese style gloves is that I never got response off anything. And I'll get to that in the breakdown of the glove. But the glove is built differently from say Winning or a bunch of other companies that try to replicate a Japanese style in that the build of the overall glove is more suited I feel for like a western style boxer. So they are very much a padded glove but they also have a very good feedback to it. Starting with the materials on the outside, you have a very good smooth smooth and soft leather it's not a tough leather it's a very smooth and soft leather it feels like oh man i'm trying to think you know when you get in those office chairs and they're just nice you sit down and you just start rubbing the arms and stuff it feels like that it's a very nice couch type of leather and it's a very thick hide over it i can actually take some of the leather off a little bit and pinch it and you actually got a pretty thick hide right there uh, that sticks to the padding really well uh, so the leather is of the highest quality always smells like the new dress shoe. I always tell people to look at that. I know that's weird, but that actually gives it a really good tell that it was tanned properly and that everything about the glove was put together proper. Um, so the leather's really good. The outer shell is all that one thing. Every part of the glove except for the Velcro and of course the stamp and the inside of the glove is all that top grain leather. It's very good quality leather and it doesn't wrinkle or shrink all that much. It did a little bit. You can see that it shrunk a little bit over here, but that's just going to happen when you punch stuff. It's going to fold on the inside here. But the one thing a lot of people might get concerned of is that if the leather wrinkles, that means that the padding might fall apart on the inside, which most Japanese gloves, it takes a long time to do that. It's going to take a long time for the padding to break in these gloves. You've got a five layer high density foam padding. And I want to say there's some type of memory foam in there just because of the springiness that you get to it. With this glove, like I said, it's a pillow style because it's a Japanese style glove. But because I feel like they have some sandwich foam on the inside there, it does bounce off and give you a nice recoil somewhat of a puncher's glove. It has a really good feedback off the shoulders. So you've got that padding on the inside here. And I wish I could just, you know, have like an x-ray thing and show you exactly. But you have five layers of high density and uh, I believe memory foams on the inside here. Um, but for sure it's high density just because of the style of glove that you've got. And like most Japanese styles, you can see that the thumb is actually separate. They stitch that on at a different time. Most gloves do that because that's going to give that free flowing um, uh, thumb right here. You can see the stitch down right there and the thumb curves just like most Japanese styles. The only thing is it has that puncher style uh, like fatness to it. So you have the the curved thumb like a Japanese style glove but you have that fatness to it. So it's a really cool feel to it. It, it feels like a pillow glove but also feels snug and loose on the inside much like a puncher's glove does sometimes. Um, I'll describe it as I get into it. 
But uh, going to the face of the glove, you can see that we have all this really cool stitching going down. It's double line stitching all throughout the glove, uh, which is good. That means that it's nice and secure. You got that all throughout the thumb as well. That's single line stitching. When I open the Velcro, you can see that it goes all the way down as well. And like most Japanese style gloves, and most gloves on the market nowadays anyway, have that padding going from the thumb down here and then going from right underneath your wrist down to here. And that's gonna give you good wrist support and that's gonna give you nice uh, forearm support if you get hit there. Uh, going into the Velcro strap, it's a very strong Velcro. That's uh, one thing, the hook and loop strap is really nice. Uh, it's a very nice leather on the inside, once again, and it's gonna be very, uh, very durable and very comfortable when you put this glove on. You can also see, like most gloves nowadays as well, you have the little uh, elastic strap right here. So, uh, uh, like, um, what's the word? Like lace-up gloves, when you tie it, it'll tie that part. It won't bow out because you don't want a glove to bow out like that when you're putting it on and it's flopping all over the place. It's never good. Now, um, putting the, let's see, putting the... What does that say? Made in USA, right? Okay, so so on the inside it tells you they're made in L. They're based out of LA, so it's made in USA. Um, going to the inside of the glove, it does feel like and look like you know a nylon type material, like most Japanese style gloves are. It does feel like a winning style when you put it on, but once again, it has that really cool feature when you put your hands. I smile every time I put these gloves on. Uh, you put your knuckles in, and it just feels like they're being cradled by the softest pillow on the planet. Uh, it's a very comfortable hand compartment for sure. Uh, the thumb attachment keeps your thumb nice and loose on the inside here. Uh, your thumb has a lot of room to move and it's a very good attached thumb and when you ball your fist it really gets it in a nice shape. The other thing about this glove is when you tighten it, it doesn't feel like that it's like attached to my arm it feels like my arm has just another extension to it now i just put like a mitten on you know like a winter mitten and that's exactly what i feel like with these gloves they're not heavy at all for a 16 ounce glove they are perfectly well rounded in weight uh it's very comfortable somewhat thinner i'd say at the at the fingers here the fingertips doesn't have a whole lot of padding the grip bar does feel nice though that grip bar is very nice to grab onto. So I assume that's why there's not a whole lot of padding towards the bottom of the finger so you can grab that, that grip bar a little bit better uh, and that'll provide the protection for you. I cannot feel my knuckles whatsoever inside this, which is baffling because once again, it has that puncher style feel. It recoils off every single time and I love that feel to these gloves. Um, you know, it has a very nice, almost crinkle sound when you push the when you push the padding in, but there's no form of horsehair in it either. So that's also pretty interesting. But when you push it in, once again, I can't feel my knuckles. The wrist doesn't have a whole lot of mobility, I guess. It has a little bit more mobility than a bunch of other gloves on the market. The wrist support's good just because of how good the wrist strap is. I wish there was a small little wrist bar here maybe so it could keep my wrist stable from going backwards. Because believe it or not, a lot of people actually injure themselves going backwards more than they do going forwards, at least in my experience. But the glove's very comfortable to put on. It doesn't get overheated on the inside. Uh, there's a couple ventilation holes right on the inside of the thumb here, if you can see that. It's a black glove, so it's a little hard to show that. But you do have some ventilation holes all throughout the palm and the thumb here, like most gloves do. But at the end of the day, ventilation holes don't do a whole lot. But the glove isn't hot on the inside, so I would never worry about this. But you know, Let's go into the bag work and the sparring view of these gloves so you can see exactly how I feel when I hit the bag and so you can look how cool these look up close and personal. So I have the volume up a bit so you can really hear the crack that these gloves give. They get a really nice response off the bag. It really feels like, you know, my knuckles are padded and protected much like a Japanese or a pillow style glove, but I get a nice response and it makes me want to just keep punching harder and harder and harder. So if you like hitting hard, if you like really laying into the bag, even uh, though it has a little bit of heft to it when you hit, it like guides your fist in such a good way that you're going to get addicted to the feel that you get off this uh, glove hitting the bag. It's good for the the bag it's great for mitts in general these gloves are awesome uh, for any type of puncher and someone that might have some hand problems and really wants to lay all they got into the bag so here you can see that we have a really cool and stylish glove. It just looks sharp. The matte black painting makes it look really cool. It doesn't have a unique shine to it. It just feels like light just kind of gets absorbed by this material. And that's something I really find interesting and cool. Uh, everything about the glove is just, it's a basic look with a nice sharp design. And I think your sparring partners are going to appreciate getting hit by these. 
So like I said, I'm going to give you a 100% honest review. I'm going to go over the good, the bad, the ugly, whatever it might be. Just because this company sent me things doesn't mean I'm just going to tell you these gloves are awesome, buy them, you better. No, it just means I'm going to tell you that this company is awesome for sending me these things. Now let me tell you what maybe they could improve on or what I love about these gloves. Uh, let's start off with what I think they can improve on because it's a very small list. There's not a whole lot wrong with these gloves. Uh, you know, for one, you talk about the price of the gloves, you have 150 bucks is what they're going for right now, 170 at most, and they have a half off thing. Normally they're 250 or 300 I've seen on there, but I would say for a company like this, keep it at 150, 170, people will buy a lot more. And that's one thing, I, I love companies that, that say, well our quality product is awesome, it's the highest highest quality you can get that's why you pay a little bit extra for it but i think if you have the highest highest quality stuff for 150 170 bucks people are going to say this company's awesome screw the other companies that are just legendary i want to use these because they're better than those and and i think that uh you know i'd rather drop 150 i'd rather buy 10 of these for 150 than three of them for 300 if that makes any sense um you know i do think if they are trying to replicate a Japanese style of glove, I would say I like these better than winnings. I like winnings, but these gloves give me more of a feedback. They're definitely a hybrid to me. Uh, they have really good feedback when I hit my shoulders and my knuckles feel like I'm pouncing off. My knuckles never pierce through like a hot knife through butter though. And like I said earlier, you can't feel your knuckles inside the padding here. Another thing I wish is that the wrist support could be just slightly better. I wish there was maybe just uh, maybe a stiffer wrist here, or maybe there was a, uh, a wrist bar there to keep my wrist from stabilizing going backwards. I don't like when my wrist goes backwards, but when you have things like uh, tie sparring and stuff, I guess that could work pretty well. Um, I did use these gloves in both boxing and MMA sparring. They do open very well if you want to use them for tie stuff. They do open very easy, and that's something I wish I could have, uh, I, I should have gone over a little bit earlier, but they have a decent grip. The thumb does get in the way a little bit over here. They are definitely way more of a boxing glove than they are a MMA big glove sparring glove. So if you were a boxer, I would definitely look into these. If you're MMA, maybe not as much unless they have a couple different things that might open the thumb a little bit easier. But once again, it's they're looking more for the boxing crowd. Uh, but if you do MMA, I'm not saying don't get them. I think they're awesome. But for MMA guys, I would maybe look for a different direction if you must have that absolute thumb grip when it comes to gripping in big glove sparring or tie sparring. Uh, when it comes to the quality of the leather, it's awesome. The one thing I will say, they are all black. They will scuff easy and that's easy to do. All you just take is a couple disinfecting wipes or maybe just some, a, a wet rag, a very, very damp rag, not something so soaked, but just damp and just wipe it off and the scuff marks will come off fine. It's not going to scrape the leather, it's not going to scrape the paint off forever. That's something that this glove won't do, but it does scuff sometimes. If you have a dirty bag, the dirt will show up a little bit easier and that's just something that's going to happen with any type of equipment, but if you have bright, vibrant colors, it's not going to happen as much as it would with black and white or even gray. You know they show dirt a lot easier but if you have something like a bright orange you know you might see it build up over time but it's just not going to happen as much uh but black is still a pretty good color um they have a bunch of different color options which is awesome the stitching is great uh i think i mentioned that i wish there was a little bit more of a wrist support here and the velcro does uh go pretty well uh, the one thing I will say that was interesting is that it's not very quick drying. It does kind of stay wet on the inside a little bit, uh, you know, towards the top, even when you let it air out. So maybe you let it air out for just a little bit longer, but the inner lining is super comfortable. It feels like I have my hand inside of the softest comforter pillow ever. And it's just awesome. Everything about the glove is just a very form-fitting glove. It actually guides my hand into a pretty natural fist. Uh, once again, uh, you can see that I have a little bit of uh, mobility in my wrist here. I wish I didn't have so much of that if it was just straight boxing, especially if I'm hitting the bag because some people that are beginners might hit this as hard as they can if they get these gloves and then they're going to jolt their wrist any which way, which is why I say before you buy these gloves, know what you're doing. Intermediate to pro level, I would say. I would not get these if you are just starting out, just because other gloves at the lower level have a little bit more support that guide your hand into telling you what to do. Uh, but I would say if you are a beginner and you're getting these, the knuckle support's awesome. If you have hand issues, 
go for these. And if you have hand issues, but you still like punching stuff as hard, well, not as, uh, yeah, yeah, I'd say as hard as you can. You can lay into the bag with these. You can hit as hard as you can, and I honestly don't feel it. And it also bounces off like a puncher's glove. So they're definitely a mixed hybrid of like a pillow puncher and a big defensive glove that's keeping your uh, hand nice and protected, I I'd say. Uh, it's not the biggest glove, so people can sneak over your guard, which is fine. That's, that's something that it's just a discretion to you. Keep your hands up and have maybe a little bit better defense. I'm not going to fault the glove for that. But in general, it's pretty cool. I also think the design is very simple, and that's something most famous gloves on the planet do. I mean, if you look at a pair of winnings, it just says winning on there. If you look at Reyes, it just says Reyes. Everlast just says Everlast. You know, companies like that. So they keep it simple. And their logo looks cooler than a lot of other companies out there. The other thing that I give points to these gloves on is they're coming from a really cool people, and they're a small company. Uh, they're made right in the USA. They come from Los Angeles, California. And he makes them himself, and he's a really cool guy, and they look out for you. Um, if I had to look at all the positives, I'd say if you have hand issues one again, once again, and you want to have a good response, definitely go for these. Uh, the hand compartment is slightly smaller, um, uh, but the padding does move around a bit, and once you break it in, my hands actually do move in. I just had to put my hands in it for a little while before I really got it to open. So it just takes a little bit to break in. It took me about three or four days to break these in entirely before I could start sparring with these. They're a very good sparring glove. Your sparring partners will know they're getting hit uh, for sure they're not as soft as say a winning but they're very close uh, they're not stiff at, by any means uh, they uh, they do have a pretty soft foam um, but your partners will know that they're getting hit by a shot especially if you hit them in the head they, they definitely will get a couple stiff shots here and there um, just because of how pointed the glove is it is a pretty pointed glove that way um, the hand protection is awesome. Wrist support could be slightly better, but you know I can't really complain compared to a lot of gloves out there. You know they don't have the best wrist support. I just, I just, I, I have thicker wrists and I don't ever want them to bend a certain way. So I have that complaint with most gloves. Um, I would not recommend these to beginners just because if you don't know how to punch, it, you will definitely hurt yourself. Uh, the thumb is in a very comfortable position. It is a little fat, but if you're doing MMA or tie sparring, the thumb stays on the side. It does not go into grip or anything, or it doesn't go backwards. It's a very secure, tight thumb for boxing. So it is more of a boxer's glove. So it all depends on what type of person you are. Me personally, I give these gloves a 9 out of 10. I think they are a phenomenal pair of gloves, and I'm sure after I use them for a year, I'm going to be using these a lot. I might give them a 10 out of 10. But... If you are a MMA or tie guy and you do want these gloves, you're going to have to get rid of the idea that you're going to have the best grip. I'd give them, say, a 7 or 8 out of 10. If you have big hands, really, really big hands, like bigger than mine, these gloves probably won't fit you all that well. The inside is a little small, even on me, even after I broke them in for a while. Sometimes I do feel like my hands are getting constricted. So I'd give them maybe an 8 out of 10, for, for or, or my fault, a 6 out of 10 for someone that has a lot bigger hands. But I believe they go up to 18 ounces, so that might be something. And I also do custom orders, too. Uh, so you can always ask them to make a bigger glove, which is something awesome. So once again, I still put them in like that 8 out of 10 category. And then if you're talking about something like... Like, you know condition of these gloves they're gonna last you forever uh, they do scuff somewhat easy you just got to wipe them off um, and the interior lining does not dry as fast as I wish it would but if I had to give it like the overall grand picture you got hundred and fifty bucks I think that's awesome keep it there I give these gloves a, a solid score for the general user of 7 out of 10, if not 8, I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. I think it's a very well made glove. I think I prefer these over a lot of gloves that I use. I think they are a very unique hybrid and I do love these gloves dearly already. And of course, somewhere down the line, um, I think these gloves will be a lot better. But I would tell you, if you are coming up on the holidays and you want to get your buddy or your partner or your boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever does stuff. Go to the website, get one of these gloves, try them out for this set, for yourself because they are an awesome pair of gloves for sure. So folks, with that said, 8 out of 10 for these gloves. I love them. I use them every day. I think they're going to become one of my favorite gloves. They're definitely in my top 10 already, if not my top 5. Um, and and I, I really do enjoy these gloves, me personally. But of course, it all varies on you, and I'm also a weird guy. So with that said, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next episode.